Hello, everybody, and welcome to Programming with Ruby, Episode 1, Introduction. This is presented by me, Tyler, and brought to you by ManWithCode.com. Covered in this episode, what this series is about. A short history of programming languages. What is Ruby, and who makes it? What is Ruby used for, and who am I? Why am I teaching this? What this series is about. By the end of this series, you should be able to effectively use the programming language, Ruby. Short history of programming languages. When it all first started out, everything was just ones and zeros. You had to just flip a bunch of switches. That was your whole program. It was horrible to debug. Then it got a little bit better. Along came assembly. You had words like move and stuff that would translate into that ones and zeros by a program called an assembler. Then you had more advanced programs called COBOL, Fortran, and there are a few others. Then there was C, which was higher level than assembly, but still kind of sucked. Then C++, which brought object orientation to the world. Uh, then Python and Ruby, which were both scripting languages, object-oriented, very easy to use. And you're going to be learning about Ruby in this series. So what is Ruby? Ruby is a programming language, and not only is it a programming language, it's a programming language that supports many different kinds of programming paradigms. It is fully object-oriented, and you'll learn what that means a couple videos from now. Uh, it was created by Yukihiro Matsu, Whatever, I don't know how to say his name. We'll just call him Mats for now. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, I, yeah. Mats designed Ruby to make Ruby to be natural, not simple. I think he achieved that. There are still some things that are kind of weird with Ruby, but he did a really good job. So what is Ruby used for? R Ruby is used a lot for web applications, uh, community administration, task automation, game programming. Almost anything else you can think of, uh, the only thing you probably want to stay away from is things that are very computationally expensive, like processing images and stuff. Uh, Ruby's not so good about that. Who am I? I'm Tyler Church. I run the websites manwithcode.com and rubygamedev.wordpress.com. Why am I teaching this? Uh, it's the tutorial I never had. I was looking for this when I first wanted to learn Ruby. I was really excited. I didn't want to read a bunch. I wanted to watch videos, but nothing like that existed. Uh, I think video is the best way to learn, and I wanted to give back to the community that uh, brought me Ruby, that helped me learn all that. I'd like to say thank you. So if you have any questions or comments, leave it on the leave it on the page, you know, there should be a little comment box below the video, or you can email me at tyler at manwithcode.com. Thanks for watching.